hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel and to another video and to the series of foil it friday because um as i promised i would start using more and more of my foils so today's foil intake is this lovely mickey mini mouse one now they are quite big i don't unfortunately don't even know how i'm gonna work these I am going to do my very best. So if you want to see a um, Mickey Mini Nails, just stay tuned and I will talk you through it. But in the meantime, thank you for joining in. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. We put videos up every Tuesday and Friday. And sometimes if I have a chance, I put a bonus one up on a Sunday. So hit those buttons if you don't want to meet, miss any of them. But in the meantime, let's jump straight into this one. So I'm going to do white polish on this and this finger I'm going to do black on the baby finger because glitter is going on that and I am going to do red on the thumb because glitter is going into that and I'm going to do red and black ombre because a red and black glitter ombre is going on that so let's go through Now for the ombre I have gone in and I have applied liquid latex and I'm going to try use um, the ombre brush with regular polish. Now these brushes are really meant for gel polishes but I'm not sure if it'll work with regular polish. If it doesn't I'll just remove it and um, go in with the sponge. You do have to work quite quickly, but I think that went um, on quite well. Indeed, it's starting to dry already, which is why it's made for just the regular or for the, just the gel polishes. Um, because obviously gel does not dry until it's put under the lamp. So the minute the air starts touching regular polish, it does start to dry. And especially this brand that I'm using, um, it does dry quite quickly so I'll just let that dry down and I think um, I may do a second coat. Now I've actually decided I'm not going to go in with a second coat because um, glitter is just going to go on top of it and you're not going to see it so I won't I'll just leave that as is. So normally when I sprinkle my glitters I do use a foil glue um, because I wanted it to stick but I'm going to try to use um, a Builder gel. I'm not allergic. I don't get contact dermatitis from the builder gels. I do um, get them from the regular um, gel polishes, which is why I don't use them in my videos. So for air black glitter. I'm going in with my Magpie in Eartha. Now that has some lovely reds going through it. It is fab and um, it would suit this manicure perfectly. So we're just going to cure that in the lamp for double time. Magpie duster brush, just going to dust off. Now that is a sugared look it is quite heavy I don't want to have it burnished in which is why I did it in the uncured layer so we will top coat that and um, but I'll top coat them all at the same time so you just want to make sure there's none on the fingers so we're going to do the exact same with the red and um, but we're going to do the cured layer with the red and black. So for the red we're going in again with a magpie and this one is called Scarlet. So I just need to cure that then um, but before I do I am going to apply my gel to this. It's 
ombre finger so I can cure the both of them together. I want the ombre cured because I want, um, I don't want the rough look of glitter, I want to burnish it in. So we are curing that then again because I put this into the wet layer, we are curing for two full minutes. So that's cured as well, we just need to remove any loose glitter then on that baby finger. And then we will of course top coat them and we'll do the other ones and we'll move on to ombreing the black and red. So because I want this burnished in, I am going to use my Magpie applicator brush and just dab it into that tacky layer. So just going in then with some gel cleanser, we're just going to wipe off the tacky layer on them. Now, if there are any lumps, you can go in then and uh, double coat if needed be. But I'm just going to turn off my, or turn on my flash just so you can see that lovely glitter. Look at that glisten and shine. It is stunning, isn't it? Right, so let's move on to um, our foil nails. So for our foil adhesive, I'm going in with this Essential Nails um, one. It goes on a kind of a blue tint. So I am just going to wipe the back of the foil with some um, nail foil prep or pro prep and wipe the gel adhesive remover and we're just going to apply this to the nail. Now I don't have it the whole way up because I want to have one of those, those little, these little black Mickey heads up the top but it's not on the same piece so hoping this is a good foil this was a cheap ass foil and usually those ones are not the best So there are a few little gaps. I will go in um, actually with a little black paintbrush and I will fix that up because we do want these to look perfect. That one went on definitely much smoother. So using this little detailer brush, I am just going to fix up with some black polish the bits that didn't transfer.
and there we have it. Now using that builder gel I am going to seal in my foils just for the longevity of it otherwise they be gone quite quickly. So here they are guys all oiled up and top coated now they are all top coated with builder gel because of my allergies so these ones will be have to be filed off but I'm okay with that because how super cute are they if you like them please give us that thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for our next video which is this purple hands here or for something else you want to watch on my channel is this box here so until the next one stay safe we'll see you soon Bye.